this is Orbo's Odyssey. And I felt like this was a good time to play this game. Um, made by the person who made Peeb's Adventure. Boner, if you remember. I don't know if you can say boner in the first 30 seconds of a uh, YouTube video or stream on Twitch. I don't know. Is that okay? But it's one of these games, chat. It's, it's kind of strange, and you play as a little fellow named Orbo. <laughs> Crap, can't believe I forgot my keys. Hope the boss doesn't mind if I just slip into his office to get them. Oh, it's Peeb. Orbo, hey, can you come here? Uh, sure. So that's Orbo, and there's Peeb. Hang on, let me just, uh, get a good angle on Peeb. What up, Peeb? Thank God I've been locked here for five hours. Yeah, oh, wait, wait, I, what? What are you talking about? And something wrong with the door opener. It keeps making this loud grinding sound. Stay shut when I walk up to it. We have to manually open the door from the inside now. And I don't have hands. And I just realized you don't either, so we're both stuck now. Wait, are you serious? I didn't want to raise my voice. So how are we supposed to get out of the boss's office, then wait three months for the next time he comes into work? It's a mistake. Um... One of those prosthetic printers, boss made me, ri uh... Had me make a risk mitigation plan for? Make a pair of awesome springy legs and bounce through the roof really hard? Wait, no, what's wrong with you? We need to build an arm and use the door. Wait, that's it? We have to 3D print an arm and get through a door? That's the whole... That's the premise of the game? Works for me. What? Hello, and welcome to the Alverson Manufacturing PA Training Zone. Please proceed through the hallway ahead to begin your education. If you need to exit for any Look at this little guy. in Alverson Manufacturing, will require that you perform a front flip to progress. All detractors often refer to our arc While working for Alverson Manufacturing, you will often find yourself in the ah! of two uh -huh. a single jump. While you are performing a front flip, you may press the jump button again to initiate a drill spin, which will launch you in the direction you are facing. <laughs> Use your drill spin to clear this hazardous pool of flame water. Okay, right trigger in midair to transition to a tr ah! Wait. Oh, there we go. I see now. I get it. I get it. I get it. You have to just aim up. In this up. room, you will find that the connecting hallway is sealed by a blast door. One of the most helpful skills that PA can utilize is the Wait, do you become a wheel? Simply jump into the air and press the I like this little fellow, Orbo. He's alright. Sometimes you will encounter mechanisms that are coming. These mechanisms will reset their state once their associated radio bar empties. This room, there will be times where you must traverse in stable environments with increased precision. Please come to a complete stop. Hold down the crouch button, and while remaining crouched, press the jump button to launch you to an airspin. This will allow you to safely navigate between the stone platforms to reach the next hall. Okay. Got it. Sometimes you may find that your skills are not enough to clear some areas. That's where the A and G kinetic launcher and gust plate come in handy. To use the launcher, the spin step dash? up to it and climb inside. Pressing the jump button once inside will launch you at high speed. After you have crossed the pool of water in this room, you will find a gust plate you may use by striking it with a drill or ground pound. Use these machines to depart from this section of the training. It's <laughs> just a helicopter You've noise. Proving yourself to be mildly adequate at utilizing your abilities to traverse Alverson Manufacturing's training course. You may interact with the glowing orb to return to the main offices, or if you're an especially worthwhile employee, you may use the hall to your right to learn about some more advanced techniques. Maybe we'll get some advanced techniques. Excellent. We're glad to see you have what it takes to pursue our advanced curriculum. In this room, you will learn about the bunt bounce, a stellar technique for building up momentum. To bunt bounce? Bounce, <laughs> bunt bounce. And press the jump button before you land. This will launch you full. Your ability to manipulate your kinetic energy into the drill is oh God. more versatile than you think. While you are drilling, you may hold the jump button to redirect your velocity to wherever you are currently looking. Be forewarned though, this ability does not last forever and you will begin to spin out of control after a period of time. To pass this room, redirect your drill spin to curve around to the left and reach the train. When I say congratulations, that worked out just fine. Statistically speaking, those who complete the AMG advanced training course are 120% more likely to find the There you go. Yeah, this this is neat so far. Uh, and Peeb is here. People remember Peeb. Peeb has got an interesting um, profile, especially from the side. And uh, I think that's allowed on Twitch, right? I mean, 
I don't know anymore. I, I really don't. <laughs> I don't. Pib... Pibicular. Monolith Station. Someone said, careful buddy, third ban is PERMA. Now, is that actually true? Like, because I had one years ago. Does that, like... I think there's a, a probation period, basically. Like, if you're, like, not showing girth in the 60 days, you're fine. I don't, I don't think there's a, a permanent thing in there. Hang on. Yeah, there's like, uh, so I can't get emotes auto-approved for a little while, because, um, uh... Several streamers have been banned a billion times and they're fine. Yeah. Well, if I put the nipple tassels on me, I might be fine too, I don't know, I'm thinking... I'm trying to think of ways... That was Jolly's, um, suggestion, by the way. Those exact ones. So Jolly's gonna be pleased to know I, um... I actually bought them. Donkey Kong? Okay, um, new record. So, chat, this is a very weird, this is very weird. Uh, I don't, I don't know if the whole game is just a series of, of like, ring challenges. I think it might be, yeah, it might be more of a speedrun game than anything. Peeb is here, he'll tell me. Leave now. Ah, I forgot this area is really confidential. You weren't supposed to be here. Peeb, look, we're trapped in the office. I'm trying to fix that. I don't care what cons what's confidential. I'm pretty sure us being in these product portals outside work hours is super illegal. You're in the time trial section. You can go to other sections. Oh, okay. Because I want to check out some other platforming areas before I do, like, speedrun shit. Let's see. Is this what you mean? Like, um... Huh. What? It's weird. Each level has a time trial gear. Who are these people? People. The rings are the time trial segment. Okay, so I was just doing the time trial segment kind of by accident. This music reminds me of something that you might hear in like Super Monkey Ball. Kinda. Hey Orbo, hey buddy, so like, I kind of get what some of these other product portals are for, but what's the deal here? Nobody knows, this is one of those places that already came formed by the unknowable hands of the Great Firmament, as the boss put it. So this is all just naturally occurring? Nobody designed any of these buildings? How is that even possible? I can't really talk about it, Orbo. It's confidential and I already said too much. Oh, I think I swallowed a bug, can't talk anymore. These wacky characters. Yeah. Chat, the moon is right. The moon is definitely right.
Okay. Duck. Tucker. <laughs> I assume you're up here because of my devious brother, Ducker. How I despise that wretched waterfowl. Ducker who? No matter, I will not spill the tale of my brother's treachery to you. I'll just cut to the chase. Do you see that foul gnome over yonder? That was my devilish brother's work. He erected to upset me. Right, so what's the angle here? I think I have an arrangement that will benefit us both. You see, Ducker's gnome is no mere sculpture. It's self-aware, thanks to a gear part implanted in its head. I heard you were searching for some gears. Maybe you could know. You know, uh, cause an accident to get the gear out? I mean, I've done worse things in the past. I'll kill your brother's gnome if it means getting out of my boss's office. Oh, I have to use the, the experimental wep weapon. So long, Gabe Bowser. Oh, this is neat. This is, it's kind of Mario 64. It's like... Lots of little objectives and things to do. I'm glad it's not just a speedrun game. And there's ducks. So chat, see any, um, see any good movies lately? No, it's January. Yeah, that's a good point. Chat, what have you been, like, even doing? I've been gone for, like, you know, so long. Jeez. Not like I was live on Sunday, anyway. Hell yeah! Why is there platforming in this walking simulator? Oh, it's Ducker. What in the blaze is my sculpture? I cannot believe someone launched some kind of high explosives at my gnome. How in the world does this keep happening? Well, there's a game I've been playing um, on the Steam Deck that I've been addicted to. It's called... You'll see it on the Full Sauce channel. It's called Death Must Die. That's been my recent addiction. It's deep. It's real good, though. Um, and it's, you know... It's like Hades, Vampire Survivors, and Diablo. Maximized for your addiction. But uh, I do, you know, I have a stream of it, a video of it coming up. And uh, I enjoyed it a whole lot, weirdly enough. I think I accidentally chose the right grave. Who are these freaks? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> vampire.
I don't know who that is. I'm sure someone does. I like that Orbo becomes a like a torpedo. That's kind of fun. What what is this? How is the deck? Um, I haven't played a ton of stuff on it, but I have no complaints. Oh, there's one. Minus the impressive dick. You know, it's funny too, because what confuses me is, I know that Twitch is, is um, they're trying to figure out, like imagine anytime someone played Cyberpunk and their dong glitched through the clothing, that they just have to ban them. But I, I know, I, well, I know that they don't uh, fully know how to like because the artistic nudity thing—they're just trying to like, you know, figure out what this should even be. And clearly, they don't even know, which is why it got removed in like two days. I know people are saying like some people ruined it. That's possible, but I mean, of course, that was going to happen. But for me, the thing that's weird is if it's a first party game and there's like big dicks, that's fine. Like, I don't know. I don't understand why one's okay and the other isn't. It's not focused on dicks, is the thing. It's a part of the... Oh, okay. So if the dick isn't the focus, it's alright as long as it's... Like, a, a feature. It's a feature, it's not the main... It's not the main thing. What about massive honkers? Oh, there's the checkpoint. Okay. Let's let's try this again. It's fine. Again, chat, it sucks. Um I've talked about it plenty. I don't really need to say much more about it other than I'm going to be making jokes about it. At the very least, it's kind of a funny story. Like I entered the call with the Twitch person and I was like I was like, come on, you have to admit this is kind of funny, right? Like, did you see the video? Like, I... There's now a number of Twitch staff that has seen the Slime Champ video. I want you to be aware of that, chat. Like, they had to watch that video for moderation purposes, and now they are aware of that whole situation. Makes a good story. Did you hear about Paper Mario Origami King copies becoming... Physical copies becoming lost media? No. What do you mean? They're just out of print? That's not the same as lost media. That, yeah, it just means it was discontinued.
I mean, it's okay. The chat member got the verbiage wrong. It's not that big of a deal, but yeah, it's probably not the right term unless there's more to this situation. They ET land filled the copies. <laughs> Hello, tiny child. Have you? I've come to represent Everlast Liquidators. I wanted to know if I could speak to your boss. Yeah, about that. The boss is like never here. Also, I'm locked in his office. Could you come and help me open the door? Ah, poor creature. I'm a liquidator, not a door opener. But if you'd like, I'd be more than happy to liquidate the door for you for a price. Are you kidding me? How much do you even want? Something to the tune of six thousand dollars. That sound good to you? Time is money, you know. <sighs> what? Do you think I'm stupid or something? How hard is it for you to walk over and open a door? Time is money, kid, and frankly, I don't have time to come and open the door. I'm on the verge of visualizing what $12 billion would look like. So move along now, you're getting something. Crazy shape. Great music over there, by the way. Pulp. Yeah, I like when pulping is awesome. Oh, that didn't kill you, oops. Of course it didn't. <laughs> you have to have tough skin to be a liquidator. I had all of mine replaced with carbon nanoplates years ago. It may have been an attempted murder, but I like your moxie, kid. When I get out of here, I'll put in a good word with the evil for you. It's the kind of stone called murdering we need at the company. A chat member said I should try to shoot myself in there. While well, trying to talk to him. But yeah, this is actually pretty good. Um, this developer made Peeb's Odyssey, Peeb's Adventure, was it? Peeb? Peeb Game, whatever the name of that was. And um, what else did they make? They made something else, I don't remember the name of it. Oh, I got the wrong shape. Nowhere, Michigan. There you go, that's the one. It was diamond and triangle. Diamond and star.
mental. It's nice up here. I thought it was Killian Murphy. Gear part acquired! Oh, it's a little rat. I like that. Cool. Oh, there's a whole family of rats up here. Oh, this is fake. Whoa. Wasn't that also- that's like ultra kill, yeah. Wasn't that also in, um... Nowhere, Michigan? Vinny, I think those are chinchillas. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. This is a lore door, chat. I know what it is, chat. I'm just messing with you. It's- I really- I am. It's another form of rodent, yes? It's- that's a chinchilla. See, I know what it is. Chimichangas. That's cool. You're a bird guy, Vinny. Don't try to force it. I am a bird guy, it's true. Yeah. Rodent tree is not my specialty. Which, man, those those syllables are fucking wicked together. <laughs> I've never used the word wicked in my life. This is what being banned does to an MF. Oh god, am I changing? Oh god! When's the last time you saw a rat? Um, Manhattan. Running out of a garbage bag. should get those checkpoints when I can. Chad, I like this game. This is this is a good game. Sophorus production. The mobility looks like it feels good. It does, yes. And then every now and then you get, like, so the music's good, the visuals are cool, like every now and then you get to see something cool like this. Just looks nice. Um, but the, the controls are nice, the, the various objectives and challenges are, are well done.
Oh yeah, brother! Look at this little guy. Master of his domain. That's right. There is another gear here somewhere. I don't know where it is, though. Um, so yeah, today, chat, I am feeling a little wretched. Uh, just physically. I still have, um, a little bit of, uh, maybe like a fever. Not even a fever, really. Just a little bit of a head cold, possibly. I'm, I'm fine. It's not that bad. I just want to let you know there's a chance I don't end up, um... streaming the whole night. It's also, the weather is just disgusting right now. I don't feel like it's any kind of flu-related thing. I just feel like it's been a lingering kind of thing. And one of the... One of the problems is, um... You know, just going out, like, I, I get asked a lot, why do you get sick so much? And when I do, I do. When I don't, I don't. I know that's weird to say, but it's true. I... I think part of it is because I'm out. And, uh... It, being in a, like, a big-ass city, and being around so many people, especially around the holidays, it's just like a, a germ stew. Um, I take... I take my vitamins. So that's good. <laughs> Vinny, are you considered old? It depends on who you ask. But yeah, probably. Yo, we're getting there. Arm segment acquired. Are there other cities you've considered living in? Um, I like Boston, I like Chicago. I'm happy here because, um... I'm not really technically in the city. I mean, I am, but uh, it's, it's more chill, so I like it here. Um... I don't think I would want to live in, like... the heart of a city. Like, I think that that's maybe a little too much for me. Sub, like, yeah, suburb kind of living is better for me, I think. But, um, I like Chicago a lot. I thought Chicago was cool. Boston would be a very easy adjustment, because it, it reminds me of a lot of, like, just a cleaner New York, but... Uh, I just, everything is here, like... What's left of my family is here. You know, my friends are here. The band is here. Um, everything is here. New York just has everything. Great concerts. Uh, good shows. Um, so I'm fine here. I, I like it. I like it. I have my problems with New York. Of course I do. They don't even let you have your own goddamn underground tunnels in New York. I mean, it's fucked. Chat's been trying to get me to talk about that for the past, like, half hour. I, I'm not touching that with a 10-foot pole.
Yeah, I mean, well, just saying it exists is one thing. I can't tell you how many times I wish I could just not be on the surface of this planet. <laughs> Thank God, an actual person. I need help. My friend and I are locked inside the main office. Can you please come and open the door for us? Oh, what do we have here? A lost employee. Is this a, like a, a babby? Sorry, my boy, but I'm afraid I too am trapped. You see, once you get promoted above a certain level in the company, you get an implant put just above your brainstem that will detonate when you try to leave your designated area. I cannot leave the mines today, my boy, unless you'd like to be misted with a fine red shower. God, this company sucks. Quite right, my boy. Ho ho ho! I don't believe I introduced myself. My name is Bunston Scone. <laughs> I can't help you with your door conundrum, but I could at least give you a push in the right direction for a favor. I'm searching for a scrumptious crystal. Give him a good whack. Eh? How many of these things do you want, man? Uh. Must try again. Cowboy hat? Do you have a favorite New York City venue? I think Hammerstein and Forest Hills is cool. I like both of those quite a bit. Forest Hills is amazing. I've seen some great shows there. I love it. Madison Square Garden is overrated, but also still kind of cool. I've seen some good shows there. It's like kind of legendary for a number of reasons, but you know, it's, it's a pain in the ass to get to. It's expensive. They charge like $50 for a beer, a hot dog, it, they take out a mortgage. That's not the right phrase. Wait, take out a mortgage? A loan? Some? Yeah, you know what I mean. You get the idea. It's a glizzy robbery, yeah. The Knitting Factory? If you're talking about the one in Manhattan, I actually played there many years ago. I was on the same stage as Weezer. We had an audience of about 10 people. It was my friend's band and it was one of my first shows I ever did. Ooh, I feel just like Buddy Holly. Get out of here, R Rivers Cuomo. This is my stream, not yours. No, it wasn't Davies Gray. I was only playing bass in the, the band. It was my friend uh, Bill's little project that he was doing, and I played bass in it. I think I played guitar one song. Oh, this is, oh God. What do you think of bass guitar? I love bass, I love, play, it's bass. Do a bass. I like playing bass a lot, yeah, it's, it's fun. But, um, I'm not the most creative bassist, I'm, I'm a guitar bassist. So that, you know, I have my moments, but nothing, nothing that I would like, go out of my way to say is like excellent just some decent little bass lines simple ones um I, some of my bass playing is on red vox i'd say maybe like a total of like six songs in or seven songs throughout the entire discography so far is my bass lines 
using my uh, base base. Only six? Yeah, uh, the rest is Joe. And now Gerald is playing some bass on our stuff. Like, for the recordings. Joe's a better bassist than I am. But uh, there's a couple I did. It's Like I said, I like playing it, I'm just not the best at it. Oh, good. I guess we're done here. Did you blind Peeb? I don't know, did I? Oh yeah. Hello, what are you doing in here? How? I have mystery. I work in mysterious ways, Orbo. Much like God, if you think about it, smiley face. Uh, anyway, what's with the mines? I mean, on paper, we don't really own or stock nuclear reactors, so... I don't get what all this uranium is about. It was supposed to be a surprise, but I'll tell you, I started this whole secret operation myself. We're gonna make glow-in-the-dark paint. The boss is gonna love it when we're making billions of dollars. Peeb, are you kidding me? I've been trying to figure out what the hell our balance sheets... Uh, why the hell our balance sheets have 12.1 million dollars diverted to arts and crafts? What is wrong with you? You're gonna kill people. What, they're just glowy rocks. I'm sure it's fine. We're gonna be rich, Orbo. This will be the best surprise the boss has ever seen. Orbo! We're gonna be rich, Orbo! Orbo, if you want to be rich, you just gotta put your nose in there! What? <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Peeb. Peeb has to put his nose in there. I get the fellas confused. Is there a quick exit? Oh, there is. It's called, just go this way. The levels are small enough. Someone just said, holy, this guy doing Rick and Morty voice 2024. I know. No, no, no it's, it's called post irony. It's called post iron. It's, uh, it's cool again. It's looped back around to being cool again, chat. Very skibbity of you, I know. Is that Notre Dame? Notre Dame, get her done. We need your help slay five golden Draculas for a reward. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fungi security solutions. That's me. This reminds me of that, what was that red letter media thing they covered where the guy was like, is this some kind of Dracula? Notre Dame means Our Lady, and you saying get her done made me lol. Oh, I get it now, yeah. Oh, there's a Dracula. Like that, like, stereotypical organ 
uh, vampire music plays when you get close to a Dracula. What the fuck am I looking at? Is this what it looks like outside Notre Dame? I guess it does. An HDR skybox? Maybe. I was kind of... At one point I was kind of expecting... Like, a variety of other landmarks that don't belong in France to be in the skybox, but this is fine too. I, I don't think that's a Dracula. Here's another question. Who's Mud Mud Dracula? That's another red letter media thing. They called a character Mud Dracula. What episode was that? It's a best of the worst thing. It's just, it's amazing. Like, the same way some of you chat members say that my... My memes, um... Like, fill your head. Like, and, and rot your brain. I, I have the same thing for uh, breast of the worst episodes. Paging Dr. Spider. It's Dracula 3. Dead and loving it. It's nice to hear drum and bass music, because I feel like it's kind of fallen out of fashion a bit. When to me this sounded like the future. And then the future came, and we got less drum and bass. We got that one snare that sounds weird, and, and the, the hi-hat that's hit many times rapidly in a row. Which is fine, you know. It's fine, I guess. But I, I like this better. <laughs> this is just my preference. How do you feel about break core? I don't, I don't want any bones to break. What is... I don't know what that is. I couldn't tell you what that is. I might know what it is if you... Scary Dracula room. If I heard it, I probably know. Someone just said that's like when you have diarrhea. What do you think of, like, corporate art like this? Like, where a corporate park just has, like, weird, strange sculptures? What if I just... a forced soul? Oh my god, there it is again. If I just said sculptures, what, what do you think of sculptures? How would you feel about sculptures? There's one weird one in New York City where it's a taxi. It looks like a taxi. Uh. Oops. It's like a taxi, and it looks like it's, like, being balanced on a small beam. And it makes me double-take every time I see it. place is so cool. I love the buildings. If they legally let me use my grapple, I'd be swinging all around. I really hate the cardboard cutouts, man. I feel like they're watching me. You're the one running production schedules these days, right? 
How soon are they actually rolling this place out to the public? Just as, uh, just as soon as they kill all the Draculas. They're breeding in the walls. Yeah, I noticed that, but they're also just cardboard cutouts. Is it that hard to just throw them in a big pile and light it on fire? They're not just cardboard cutouts, you know. Huh? Draculas. If all goes well, I'll be killing a Dracula in Castlevania tonight, too. Dealing with some kind of Dracula? Vinny, when do you do a 12-hour stream of just vampire games? There's enough of them. I was playing that Death Must Die game, and after a certain amount of time, a, uh, a boss named Dracula spawns. So for some reason, Dracula is just, like, still very present in uh, pop culture. Oh shit, yeah, there are Draculas breeding in the walls. Damn. Someone just said, of course, he's awesome. He's our, yeah, he's, yeah. Wouldn't the plural of Dracula be Draculae? Or Draculae? Hmm. Makes you think. Chad, I'm missing one gear. Ah! It's in front of the Dracula party? Oh, yeah. Well, now Orbo can get an arm. Orbo, you've done it. You finished your new arm. We can finally break out of this place. Go to the door and try it out. You know, I really thought that was going to be more dramatic. I guess it was just as easy as opening a door. Can't believe it. We're free of the boss's office. You're my hero. It's all on a day's work or something like that. Well, all right then. I guess that's it. Wow, we can go home. Brilliant. I'll see you around then. I guess that's it then. Time to go home. Orbo, you are wanted in human resources for important meeting. Please enter at earliest convenience. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, uh, hello, I'm here for that meeting you called between just the two of us. Welcome, user Orbo. You have been called to the HR to discuss usage of stapler. Usage of stapler returned. Error. Stapler not found. Define stapler location. Are you kidding me? 
You called me all the way in here just to talk about a stapler? User Orbo observed as mood angry. Clarify state. Oh, I'll clarify all right. I've been locked in the boss's office for the past five hours collecting random gears because the door opener broke. And newsflash, I don't have arms. But user has arm? Arm material exferous alloy. Illegal operation detected. Jurisdiction validated. Begin trial. Requesting justification for operation. What? You're going to arrest me? If I hadn't made the arm, I would have been locked in that office for ages. The boss is never around. Why can't you just take the arm back and let this go? The fact that the door opener wasn't being maintained is a workplace safety violation. I could sue you. Justification invalid. Pending user lawsuit invalid. Subject, exferous arm. Cannot be salvaged. Metals are too unstable for disassembly. Jurisdiction finalized. User, Orbo, will be fined. $1.3 billion for a new prosthetic arm. No! No, I'm not paying that! I couldn't make that much money in a thousand lifetimes. Go screw yourself. Gross. Go screw self. User Orbo resisting jurisdiction. Enter policy code override sequence. Ballast gangway submachine bake light delta. Fault line. Policy finalized. Directive. Attitude adjustment of user Orbo. Ah, crap. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, the glizzy gangway. Oh, shit, I'm getting... I'm losing health here. User Orbo is losing health. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Didn't you play a dating sim with that guy? Oh yeah, eat S. That one? No, it's a different guy. Similar face though. User Orbo, death imminent. Whoa! Ah! I thought that was it. Whoa! This is the newest classic character in platforming history. Orbo will be confirmed for Smash. Next Smash, whenever that is, on the Switch U. It's gonna be amazing. Though seriously, this if this is the end of the game... I could kind of see this, like, getting a sequel, or being expanded on, because... It reminds me of, like, a Hat in Time kind of thing. It would need, like, probably, maybe some power-ups. Maybe some different types of challenges. But... Overall...
There we go. This is this is a lot of fun. Whoa! There's a, a bomb battlefield map. Really? Like oh, so there's a there's already a ton of workshop maps for this. I'm learning. Okay. Oh yeah, eat ace. All of Wii Sports Resort, too? Was I not worthy? Poltergeist containment unsuccessful? <laughs> what? There's Draculas and Poltergeists? Just wanted to live again? Poltergeist erasure successful. Event death. Goodbye world. Wow. There's more lore than I was expecting. I hope Orbo's okay. That explosion must have killed him. Hey, peep. Sorry I was late. Orbo, you're okay. What happened? Got into a disagreement with HR. I think I'm probably gonna just quit my job today. Oh, just a disagreement. Well, that's not so bad. Well, if it means anything, I'm quitting too. I hate this job. Oh, that's good. So, uh, what do you think you're gonna do now? I decided I'm gonna go- gonna be on an adventure. I'm gonna be an adventurer, rather. There's all sorts of places I've never been before. Could be fun. What about you, Orbo? What are you gonna do now? You know, I haven't really thought about that. Frankly, I sort of built a lot of my life around this job. I guess the routine kind of burnt a hole in my head. I don't really have much else in my mind right now. Ooh, I know, I know, I know. You can come with me, we can go on an adventure of the world together. It'll be fun. Hey, you know what? Screw it, let's go, man. I think there could be a lot in store for us out there. Yes, let's go. Let's go right now. You know, today might have sucked, but you can't deny that it was truly an Orbo's odyssey. Oh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Boner. Like this banjo kazooie esque music happening over the ending. Well, that was fun. I quite enjoyed that. I'm gonna check out the workshop. Uh, I wanna see a couple maps that are maybe on there because uh, that would be cool. I, I guess they're gonna be in a game together in the future. That seems like the obvious next thing. Congrats on beating the game. You're back in here again because there's untold secrets waiting to be found. You're welcome to hit the menu button and exit. Um, someone said each level has a secret you can get now. What level was it where... Wait, I know, I know where one is. I know where one is. Wow. Melpert. Melpert, please. Mel I just see a chat member, a disappointed chat member calling me Melpert. And I can just imagine them looking upon me. They have like a Giga Chat visage. And they're just like... Melpert. A disappointed yet caring chat member. Melpert is one of my many names. Was it Snuffy that went through all of my names on, um, on that fucking wiki? Who was it that did that? Or it was a gig. Someone did.
It's like hundreds of nicknames. I mean, I did it too. Oh, and Gura too. I don't know who that is, I think. Wait, wait, do I? Is it the whale? It might be the whale. Oh, it was a shark. I don't... I'm sorry. I, I, it's hard to keep track. <laughs> Chat, this door is not real. Still. Um. Go to the grinder? She's the biggest VTuber and she likes you, Vin. That's nice. I I'm... I'm chuffed that there are streamers that are newer, that are doing well, that like what I do. It's, I think it's real nice. Um, I don't know about biggest, though. There's... I... It's hard to quantify, but I also don't know the size of everyone's audience. But chat saying that's not necessarily the case. Whatever the case is, I don't care. Thanks for watching, whoever you are. No, there's nothing behind here either. Well, listen, I'm gonna just check the workshop. Four point four million subs. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot of subs. There's uh, various advice happening right now about how to get the Easter egg here, and I don't know what that is. Stand near the purple rock for a long time. Oh. Oh. This seems fine. Safe material. Ah! I'm orbing out, man. You don't have the thing to activate this warp? Oh. Okay. Well, I'm good. I think, um, there's probably a lot of secrets that I am... I'm not gonna get. But I want to check out the workshop real quick. I see, like, already I see two amazing levels. And, uh, most subscribed. Let's see. I mean, there's only a couple, but we can we can check them out real quick. No, not continue. Ah. Oh. So we got Super Orbo 64, of course. There's been so much Mario on the stream lately. I mean, there always is, but especially lately. Dear Bobo, please come to the castle. <laughs> I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool. Peach. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Man, we're even getting the cutscene. Good start. 
Yoshi? Oh yeah, Yoshi's here. What up? Hi, Orbo. I'm just up here chilling. Hashtag swag. It's cool, man. You're just doing your own thing. You got your own philosophy, playing by your own rules, chilling wherever. I wish I could adopt that kind of lifestyle, but the thought of letting go of the material and throwing caution in the wind is a flaw and a burden that I sometimes fear will be brought with me to my deathbed, leaving me unfulfilled and alone. Bye, Orbo. Welcome to Peach's Castle, I'm Toad! Hi Toad, I got a letter from the princess for something regarding a cake at the castle. Yeah, don't worry, that's still happening. We just ran into a problem now. The princess is trapped at the top of the castle. And straight up, all the gear parts to the door to her room exploded and are scattered throughout the worlds and rooms. That sucks, man. Any chance I could help? 50? Oh, this is like... This is like extensive. Whole ass game. Oh, there's even little pathetic Goombas. I mean, the game is inherently quite different when you're playing as Orbo, because your mobility is so... Uh, so turgid. It's cool for the quick, but... Yeah. Welcome to the beginning of the new franchise, Koopa the Quick's regional speed trial system. I set up speed trial course within most rooms of the castle. They're free to enter a prize as a celebratory gear part. Oh, word, I've been looking for those. This is incredible. Of course, I must go to Dire Dire Docks. No real water physics. Don't need them. This is Jolly Roger Bay. Always, I always do that. This is Jolly Roger Bay. This isn't Dire Dire Docks. This isn't Triple D. Here. Welcome, Guy Fieri's Triple D's. That's right, 36 Double D, Triple D. Welcome to the show. All right, let's get started. This right here is a Glizzy Gobbler. They don't have a whole lot of these, but we're going to be checking it out. Oh, yeah, this food is righteous. Check out my disgusting pepperoni lasagna meal. Oh, yeah, indigestion and shit. Oh, God. Triple D's, that's where it all goes to. I will never eat one of Guy Fieri's microwavable meals ever again. Yes! I 
I, I can't even, like, time this one, because it's so different. That was quick. Yeah, this is really, really, really well done. I love this. We'll check out a couple more levels. God damn it. Reset. Speed run over. <laughs> Easiest thwomp of my life. I wonder if the, um, there's, I wonder if there's the one. You know which one I'm talking about. The one. Here. Not that one. Oh, God, no! Oh, you get kicked out of the level if you die. Yeah, cannonless. Hmm. Don't know. I mean, I see the seams in between the. Part. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. You need the cannon for that, and that was the wrong one. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, the levels definitely feel smaller, other than actually, like, I, I think it's the mobility that you can, like, fly around that, that makes it feel smaller, but also the levels, I think, are actually scaled a little smaller. Again, take a look a little bit. Look a little at each level. Big Boo's Haunt. Oh yeah, that's that's here too. It's a treasure chest though. Yeah. Easiest gear to get ever of all time. Piano is here. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> it might be a little scuffed to use that word for the first time ever, unironically. Which, by the way, I learned that the word scuffed was used in the movie Help by the Beatles, and it was actually a word used in the 60s. So that is not a new word that is being used in that way. That is a throwback. True story. Yep, they were using gat and skibbity back in the 60s too. You actually... Oh, it's a, yeah, it's its own level. And it's a little quicker. 
boss not programmed. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the bombs are amazing. Okay, there's no- I don't think Bowser 2 is- or, yeah, Bowser 2 is actually available. They- they cut that. Melpert checked the fountain. I did. There was the ghost house there, no? Well, it's a smaller version of Wet Dry World. Oh god. Good enough. Not much going on over there, okay. But yeah, this is this is really good. This is really, really well done. And, yep, it is appropriately uh bigger. Oh wait, is it? Yeah it is, isn't it? No? Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah, we already got this one. Oh, never mind. But it, it, yes, it does look like every, pretty much every major world is represented here, I think. Hi, Toad. The princess is stuck right behind here. If you collect those 55 gear parts, the door should react. 55? I thought I only needed 50, huh? No, 55. <laughs> Vinny, the fountain is green now? Well, that was cool. Just to take a look at it, there's also Desert Orbo. Just for a second, we'll take a look. It's, um, it's Desert Bus. I don't know, Peep, wouldn't that take like eight hours? By the time I got there, the bus would probably show up. It's Desert Bus. Is there a way you can keep Orbo as- as wheel? Oh, shit! Oh, fuck off. And someone also did, um, Woohoo Island. Like, all of it, I think. It's so fucking crazy. Yeah, so if you ever wanted to just platform through Woohoo Island from the famous Wii Sports Resort and other assorted games, this is your chance. Just don't do that, whatever you do. Shoot the fruit with your bow. <clears throat> oh, I remember all too well. 
Belfort remembers. Ah! Wow, nice fucking troll. No, there's probably, I mean, I might have just somehow lost some speed. Clearly, there's still a way to get there, because there's, like, stuff there. But, uh, that's okay. I just think of the fucking sword fighting game now. The, the one where you're fending off a bunch of, um, me's. I enjoyed that. Matt, the famous me. The most famous of all the me's. I don't know if I can get up there without some... Okay, you need- there's something special that you have to do to get in there. So yeah, it's just a giant, like, open-world collect-a-thon. Just don't go in the pool. Whatever you do, do not go in the pool. So that's Orbo's Odyssey. Um, there's a couple extra levels on the workshop too, but this is uh, just a good game. It's a nice quick, like hour long-ish experience. And um, there's a lot of secrets. Clearly I only, I didn't see any, but um, You know, I think it's just cool. I think it's- I think it's great. So... Peeb and Orbo... are both good. Good chaps. And, uh, that's it. So we'll- we'll take a quick break. I'll be back with Castlevania. Uh, hang on chat. I gotta get a BRB. And a song. Hmm. Oh, I have one. I have a good one. As soon as I can find it. What the, uh, what the hell was the name of that song? It is... Um, wait, no, wait. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I fucking, I just heard it. I thought it was cool. Oh, the Lemon Twigs. Yes, that's a real band. <laughs> 